Israel Defense Forces striking Gaza terrorist targets as part of its wide-scale operation to dismantle Hamas's capabilities. So as the war enters its third week, what are the next stages for the IDF? Our next guest is a retired female IDF colonel who served 20 years. Both her husband and her three children are mobilized. Her name is Colonel Miri Eason, and she joins us now. Good morning to you, Colonel. Good morning. Good morning. Well, thank you for your service. Uh, 20 years devoted to uh, the IDF. Tell us what is next for the IDF. What are their options? What we're all waiting for, in a sense, both you in America and us here, is the issue of the ground operation to go against what that term of Hamas infrastructure, which means to be going in to dismantle the cache of weapons, that underground um, subterranean arena, to go in against the booby traps, the suicide drones. To get to that, you need to go into the Gaza Strip. Now, the decision on when that happens is not just specifically about attacking the Hamas targets and gathering the information. Add into it that over 200 Israeli and international citizens, civilians from a nine-month baby to 85-year-old people who are being held hostage, mm -hmm. and the constant, I call it poking, of Hezbollah, what will Hezbollah and behind them Iran do next? All of these impact when that ground operation will start. Mary, um, I'm reading there's an all-female IDF unit which eliminated nearly 100 Hamas terrorists. Can you tell us about this unit? Was this your unit? So I served in the IDF in the intelligence community. What you're talking about now is one of the infantry units. It's actually mixed in that sense, not just women, women and men. But in this case, the commander, the battalion commander, that's a woman at the rank of lieutenant colonel, is the commander of this unit. And they were deployed in the south area of the Gaza Strip perimeter. They were deployed into different communities that were attacked by terrorists. And they themselves, men and women, but mostly women, were the combat soldiers who stopped terrorists from entering into some of the communities. It is a whole new stage in international warfare, but certainly for us in Israel, where we have these amazing women combat soldiers directly participating in the defense of the country. Wow. Uh, you also told our producers that you've heard some incredible stories of women that are serving. One, one woman had her baby and after two weeks left to go and fight. Another woman is six months pregnant and fighting that, that you know of. And I know you're friends with Adele, who Steve Ducey, my co-anchor, is interviewing in Washington. You were texting with her when all of this was happening and she was locked in her safe room. Thank you, Miri, for your service. We're praying for Israel. Thank you so much. You're welcome.